So in our last video, we made a new dining table for a client. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, this is their old one. Um, so ugh, that's super tight, but it's got a leaf right here. And what we're going to do, and this is kind of exciting because I've never done this before, is we're going to turn this into a card table. Um, basically everything's going to be built right on top of this. I'm going to use another sheet of plywood because it is longer, um, and a little bit wider. Um, but they won't have access to any of this anymore. I'm not sure if any of this is needed, but we're just going to leave it for all intents and purposes. So this is what we're looking at. This area right here is going to have a nice inlay, um, similar to this felt bumpers and cup holders. 42 by, I'm sorry, 72 by 48. Um, yeah, should be fun build. All right, let's go. With these squared off oval tables, it's really simple to cut out the ends that are circled, right? You know the width of the final table dimension is going to be, in this case, 48 inches. So you just find the center. There's very little math. You just measure out, you know, the, the radius, which would be 24 inches. Put the pin onto the center and then route around the circle. It'll eventually cut off itself because your table's the maximum width it's going to be already. So to mark it out, nail in the center, pencil in the hole, 24 inches from the nail. And then just go for this first one. Go as, I'm going to go as close as I can because I want to save as much material. Hammer in the nail, mark it out. See, it automatically cuts off because your table's already cut to the final width. And for the other side, you just measure your final length, put your pencil on where that final length line is, mark it out. Once you have the one side cut out, measure again, double check that your length is good. And then take your favorite circle jig, mark the bit where it's going to cut, put your nail in the center line, and go for it. I like to go about three quarters way through the material and then finish it with a jigsaw and a flush trim bit. There you go. Now that we have everything somewhat cut out, um, I refound the center on both uh, the long and the short. Um, we're going to mark out for our rails, our cups, and then that'll give us the center dimension that we're going to cut out, which is going to be uh, covered in felt. All right.
Now with that part centered on top of the old table base, I'm just going to put in some screws so that it'll stay in place and we can cut the holes for the cups. So we decided to go with this herringbone pattern um, for the outside. So it's keep with the pattern, glue nail, glue nail, about a million times. All right, so we're sanded to 120. 
We're gonna go to 220 uh, before we apply finish. Let's go. So for the bumper rail, we went to Casino Supply and we got this rail that just slips over the side. I'm gonna use some heavy duty double-sided tape and if needed, I can drive in screws from the base. So that slid in perfectly and it's a little from where it was folded i'm gonna try and iron that out um and then we'll slip the rest of the cups in and we should be pretty good to go it came out good i've never done this before so i think it looks somewhat legit let me know mm -hmm.